Hi there, Becky here from 168 Fitness. Over the past few weeks, I've been helping you with your health, fitness and weight loss goals and hopefully uh, getting some results before the end of the year. Um, so this week, I've got another bit of advice for you and uh, it's something that will be useful for everyone, no matter what your goal is. Um, and I think, yeah, I think everyone will benefit from it. Um, gets you just thinking a little bit. And that is about sleep. I want to talk about sleep today and how that can help you with just feeling better, more energised, healthier, but also potentially with your weight loss goals or maintaining weight as well. So um, we all know why sleep is good. I'm pretty sure, well, we all know it is good, even if we don't know why it's good. We know that we should be having sort of six to eight hours of sleep. Um, and if you are already having six to eight hours of sleep, then you're sorted. You might want to watch the rest of the video. You might not. Um, if you've got a good sleep pattern, that's fantastic. You'll probably already be feeling pretty energised each day and not unwell, hopefully. Obviously, that's not always the case because you can still be poorly and uh, still be sleeping. But um, you, you may well be um, a healthy weight already. Again, it's not a given just because you sleep doesn't mean that you are a healthy weight. But if you aren't sleeping, the chances are you may well be um not a healthy weight may not be a healthy individual you may um, be suffering with low energy and things like that um so so that's why it's really important um, amongst many of the benefits of sleep um making sure that you're getting six to eight hours is really important for um your immune system so at this time of year when you're prone to picking up bugs and things sleep is the time when your body is is fighting those viruses and um, helping you to recover um, from the day really um, so if you're not getting those six to eight hours then your body doesn't have enough time to do it and then that's when you get run down and um, and that's when you get ill we all know that when you had a stressful time and you're not sleeping and you're not resting and everything that's when you're prone to picking up bugs and things so um, so this time of year it's really important especially to be getting plenty of sleep and recovery um, and then in terms of the weight loss that if uh, yeah, you're burning calories still when you're asleep. That's fantastic. Um, but it's also going to help you to, like I said, rest and recover so that the next day you're feeling energized and you're going to be able to do your exercise session. Hopefully you'll be making healthier food choices as well because you're not tired. You're not reaching for the sugar. We've all done it. If you have a late night um, and maybe even an early morning and you're really just craving that sugar to give you that boost all the time or that next day. Um, that's why, because you're just crashing and you need to, your body's looking for a quick fix to keep you going. Um, so that's another reason why really important um, for for weight loss and or weight management, at least. And there's so many reasons why sleep is important. But what I want you to focus on, I could talk all day long about why, and you probably already know the benefits of it. So I just want you to really focus on getting those six to eight hours sleep. If you aren't experiencing results with your um, health, is, health, fitness and weight loss goals, um, sleep may be the area that you need to look at. You may be doing the exercise, you may be doing the healthier food changes, maybe doing other things, drinking the water, all of that may be switched on with every other part. But if you're not getting the sleep, it's not necessarily the only thing that you'd need to change, but it's definitely something that I would recommend you looking into um, getting a good sleep pattern, uh, making sure you're going to, trying to go to bed at the same time every night and waking up every time in the morning. The body loves a nice pattern, a good routine, because then it knows what to expect and it knows just what's coming day to day. Um, so I would highly recommend trying to look into um, how you can improve your sleep schedule and routine and patterns and things like that so that you're getting that six to eight hours uh, sleep every night. Obviously, if you have a job that prevents you from having that or you might have several reasons why you um, can't um, get to sleep at the same time every night or there's just stuff to be done or whatever but it, like you, you just need to be able to help yourself I can't necessarily change um, certain things and if you work shifts and stuff that's obviously going to have an impact but for those that are probably just choosing to stay up maybe you're playing on your phone or playing a game or you're um, watching tv or you're just not going to sleep you're just not going to bed um, and you've not got that routine um, before you go to bed, then you are the people that I'm talking to. I want you to choose to get to bed earlier and um, and get plenty of sleep so that we can 
be feeling the benefits of that and uh, has a positive knock-on effect with everything else in your life and just feeling the benefits just feeling more energized and recovered and refreshed and ready to go each and every day so um so yeah so if you've got any questions feel free to get in touch with me i'd love to help and share my sort of sleep routine with you um and uh, yeah i'll be back next week with some more top tips